Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval gnocchi, which are quite different from the most known modern day gnocchi. We start with the ingredients. We need a white wheat flour, eggs, fresh cow cheese, and aged sheep cheese. First, we pound in the mortar the fresh cheese. The author just tells us to use a fresh cheese. We suggest to use a fresh cheese with a moisture content not too high. Otherwise the dough will require too much flour and the gnocchi will become tough. This is not the only recipe of gnocchi which we find in the medieval manuscripts. This one was written in the 13th century by an anonymous Tuscan author. Just a part of the manuscript survived with 92 recipes. According to the index of the manuscript, the original cookbook was much longer. This fragment was published in a print edition for the first time in 1887 with the title Frammento di un libro di cucina del secolo XIV. The style of the recipes is similar to another anonymous Tuscan manuscript from the same century, conventionally called Anonimo Toscano, that we often used as a source for our videos. We mix the fresh cheese with the egg yolks and flour. We use 300 grams of cheese, 3 egg yolks and 50 grams of white wheat flour. The ratio can change depending on the moisture content of the cheese you choose. We are aiming at a soft dough with a small quantity of flour. If you use too much flour, you will end up with a hard dough and the gnocchi will take too long to cook and we dissolve in the water before being cooked through. The amount of flour must be just enough for the dough to hold its shape. Today the most known kind of gnocchi is made with potatoes. But there are also other kinds, for example, the gnocchi alla romana, prepared with a semolina. In the historical cuisine since the Middle Ages until the 19th century, we find many different kinds of gnocchi. Usually prepared with flour, cheese, sometimes grated bread, eggs and other ingredients. Bartolomeo Scappi, in the 16th century, provides a recipe of gnocchi, which are called also macaroni, with flour, bread, eggs and broth. It is important, the author writes, obtaining a dough neither liquid nor hard. The methods of scappi to prepare gnocchi are two, forming pieces as big as a walnut and using the reverse side of the grater to give the typical shape to the gnocchi or cutting the pieces on a chopping board. This one is the same method used in the medieval recipe we are preparing today. We roughly shape the dough into cylinders about two fingers thick. We cook the gnocchi in salted water. We place the dough on a cutting board after soaking it with hot water to prevent the dough from sticking and divide it into pieces about one finger thick. We suggest to plunge the spoon in the water after every three or four cuts or it will start sticking to the dough. It's unclear the origin of the word gnocchi or gnocchi, 
but many cookbooks, both medieval and modern, refer to the size of them as hazelnuts, pine nuts, chestnuts or walnuts of dough. In medieval vernacular, we find frequently the walnuts called gnocchi, whereas pine nuts are pinocchi or pignocchi. Still today, in Italian, we use noce, which means walnut, as a unit of measurement, for example, for butter. The cooking time changes according to the size of the gnocchi and mainly in relation to the ratio of flour. If you use a very small amount of flour, just enough for the dough to hold its shape, the gnocchi will cook in one minute or less. As soon as they raise to the surface of the water, you can drain them. We serve the gnocchi with grated aged sheep cheese. In Bartolomeo Scappi's recipe, the author serves the gnocchi with butter, fresh and grated cheese and spices. The medieval author doesn't use butter, because the presence of a good amount of cheese in the dough will make the gnocchi fat enough, preventing them from seeking. This simple and flavorful gnocchi is an extraordinary example of how in the Middle Ages the cooks prepared one of the most common dishes used still today in Italy. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors or you're just looking for unusual and delicious recipes, please subscribe our channel.